Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and it's banless season. Let's go get us out of this horrible format that is infinite forbidden. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, Yu Gi Oh is not in a great place, and Konami needs to get us out of it. Uh, the last format, or this format that we've been in for the last few months, has been not a fantastic one. The best deck in the format is literally $2,000 to build. And every other deck that compete with it is doing some bullshit uh, FTK slash, oh, you didn't get to play it because I Calamity locked you. Or, oh, you didn't get to play it because I Gimme Locked it, I Gimme Puppet burned you. Or, I Gimme Locked by giving you a freaking Gimme Puppet Nightmare. Or, hey, don't forget, I have Protoss in my deck. Or, hey, I D-Shifted you. Or, hey, I d bear you. Yeah, this format is very unfun and very unforgiving. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So let's actually talk about what cards need to be banned, what cards are going to be limited, what cards can come back to three. Let's just get straight into this. So first things first, let's talk about the bans. We need to ban Calamity. Why the fuck is this card still on this list? I don't know why it's still at one or three. This card just needs to go. I am so tired of it. I, I don't care if Centurion is like... We want to make Centurion sales. No, ban this thing. The new wave of support that it's getting in Rage of the Abyss literally pushes this deck into the meta without Calamity. We don't we don't need you to be a Calamity locking deck. You need to have your own identity as a deck that isn't just turboing this fucker out. And that's not even just for Centurion. There's a whole bunch of decks that are like synchro based. They're like, oh, we can make Calamity in their deck. So we just FTK you. And you know what? They might not be the most meta. But damn it, they gotta go. They just this card just gotta go. Uh, another card that needs to be banned, Protoss. Why the fuck did we bring that back? Uh, this card is the only reason. Well, there's two reasons why Ritual Beast is actually kind of good right now, besides the support. Uh, basically, uh, we need to put uh, Protoss behind the shed and shoot it. This card is absolutely stupid. It is very unfun. It's very not healthy for the game. I have no idea why they brought this thing back. To push Ritual Beast sales, that's all I can think. Uh, so yeah, Protoss got to go. Another card I need to go is D-Shifter. Uh, this card is absolutely disgusting and awful. I am not for one for necessary evils. Personally to me, there is no such thing as a necessary evil. That's why Maxi is banned in the TCG. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this shit got to go. D-Shifter is not fun. I would say Drone Lockford needs to be banned as well, but... Right now we have Mold Chummy and we have the whole Mold Chummy archetype that's like Max C. So a lot of people aren't really playing Droll. So I don't know. Personally, I'm not a fan of any of these archetypes. The uh, continuous floodgate of a hand trap, I don't like them. I'm okay with Ash. I'm okay with Emperor. I'm not okay with Droll. I'm not okay with D Shifter. And I'm not okay with Mum Chummies, guys. I'm just, that does not very fun mechanics. I hate they have a continuous effect that lasts until the end of the turn or the end until the end of the next turn. They're just very unfun cards and they just gotta be taken out of shed. I really, I really just hate them. But uh, yeah, that's really it for the pan traps. I don't think any of these are gonna be hit by the way besides Shifter, personally. Like, honestly, I think that's the only thing that really, like hand trap wise, will probably be hit. As much as I want Droll to be taken out of the shed, as much as I want uh, Mold Chummy to not be in the format as a $40 hand trap, uh, they're not going to hit that card. Especially when there's a better version of it coming out of Rage of Abyss, the new bird one. But uh, yeah, that's it for the hand traps. I thought you talk about some other bands. Appaloosa, Boas of the Goddess. She got to go. We uh, banned Baron, we banned uh, Boralute Savage. Now she got to go. Uh, the fact you can IP into her is really, really annoying. And she's one of the best generic link force in the game. If you don't have anything like an Imperm or a Dark Ruler to stop her, she is just four monster negates on a body. She just does that. And that's just kind of stupid. I think that she was always an unfun card. And uh, she's always in the stupidest combo wombo decks. If you think that Yu Gi Oh is a very unfun game and that we need necessary evils like Droll, like D Shifter, then get rid of the cards that those cards hit. If you're really thinking, oh, I can't play because my opponent made a stupid Wombo combo board, well, how about this? We just get rid of all of it. We get rid of that bullshit floodgate hand traps that stop our opponent from playing, and we get rid of these stupid combo Wombo decks, like, uh, what's it called? IP Mascarena. I don't like this card either. This card gotta go as well. Now, 
most likely IP Masquerina and Appaloosa, uh, Appaloosa will still be legal on this ban list just for the simple fact that most likely both these cards are going to be reprinted in the Mega Tens. But if they're not getting reprinted in the Mega Tens, then it's time for these two to go. It's time to be uh, old yeller, if you know what I mean. Uh, any other cards to try to think that it should be banned? Uh, I already talked about Protoss. I already talked about Calamity. Uh, I do have one. We have the Brandon Explosion Fusion Monster. Uh, this card, uh, gotta go. I hate this thing with a passion. It is just a better version of Explosion as a monster. Why the hell did they make this thing? We knew Explosion and Brandon was broken. Why the hell did you give us a fusion that said, oh, I can't be targeted? What? Well, why would you do this? Like, I love Branded. I think it's such a cool archetype. I hate that the, the, this, is, this is what the decks revolve around. Like, I think Branded could still compete without having to set up some stupid Game of Puppet lock bullshit. And I don't think Game of Puppet uh, itself is the issue. I definitely think it's literally just uh, Al Bazola, whatever the fuck this thing's called. Uh, this card just gotta go. It was broken when it's sweet for a solid. It's been legal for way too long. I feel like it's been a year, almost two years now. Yeah, this card, this card gotta go. I'm not happy about it. But, uh, yeah, that's it for bands. Uh, I think some people were saying, like, oh, the Snake Eyes, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the main deck monster, the bridge dude. Uh, you know, I'm showing a picture of him right now. I personally don't think he's gonna get banned, but I can definitely see an argument. Uh, this card is really, really stupid. It kind of feels like Block Dragon for this archetype, but uh, personally, I just don't think this card can be banned because you all, you kill Snake Eyes if you ban this card. So, personally, I think they're going to have a whole bunch of limits. So, a lot of times we discuss that. We're going to go on to the limits now. What are we limiting in the card game? So, first things first, for Snake Eyes, we are limiting Snake Eyes Ash. This card gotta go to one man this card is absolutely stupid it's a one card starter this card is crazy out of its mind uh next card we gotta hit bonfire bonfire one uh snake eyes have way too many starters uh let's go the whole freaking uh Venus smith is a whole starter engine uh snake eyes ash is a whole starter engine uh what's called wanted that's another card that a lot of people are saying should go to one wanted should be on this list uh bonfire should be on this list. there's too many one card starters that just get this whole deck going and i'm not really a big fan of it so i think ash should definitely go to one for sure and then maybe wanted and of course the uh, lovely lovely bonfire but that could be else another card that is just really consistent not only for snake eyes but just decks as a whole prosperity this card is so stupid it should have been at one forever now. This card is absolutely cracked out of its mind. Now, I can see people saying, no, they're not going to touch Prosperity because the Mega Tens is getting reprinted. But you can still reprint the asshole and have it as a one-of, my opinion. Another one-of that I can definitely see entering the format is actually off the ban list. So we're going to take this off the ban list. That being Heavy Storm. I've seen a lot of people are like, look, man, I'm tired of losing to these like five back row decks that completely wash me. We need some removal. Well, I think I think Heavy Storm can come back as a one of Now, the reason why it's like very scary to say that is because we already have three. Uh, we have two Lightning Storms and we have the one Harpies. Do we need a Heavy Storm? Maybe, maybe not. I've seen a lot of people saying this card's going to come off. So, here's me discussing it. Another card that could come off on the list is Lovely Lovely Meow Meow uh, from the uh, Prank Kids package. Prank Kids haven't done shit ever since this card got banned. And I think it's their time to come back. I think that Prank Kids is a very cool and interesting deck. And I don't think the things it was doing was so broken that the current decks in the format would be overshadowed. Like, I think Brandon can still beat that deck. I think Snake Eyes, even with the hits we're giving it, are still going to be better than it with the best Prank Kids deck. And I still think that uh, there's a lot of other archetypes that are going to do really, really well. Now let's talk about some more hits, because we can't just hit Snake Eyes. So let's talk about the second best deck in the format, that being our lovely, lovely uh, U-Bells. Uh, U-Bells definitely need a hit, and I think the hit that is going to be correct for them is the Continuous Spell for the Sacred Beast archetype. Now this uh, is a really, really powerful one-card starter for them. Uh, yes, it does technically require a discard, but this card is absolutely cracked out of its mind. 
I think that we can't hit any of the new new bells because the deck's way too new. It literally came out of Phantom Nightmare. So we're not going to hit any of the cards coming out of the set. So we're not going to hit any of the new support for the deck. I definitely think that this card came out of the structure deck. It's already been reprinted. I think this card can definitely go to one. I, I like the second piece package. I think it's really, really cool. But at the same time, I hate that every theme deck feels the same now because they're playing, uh, of course, these, uh, what's it called, Phoenix Smith package, and they're playing this freaking uh, Sacred Beast package as well. It makes the deck a lot more inconsistent, and I think that's fine. Fitness of one is pretty, pretty solid. Another incons uh, consistency hit slash power move, we're hitting the 10 5 field spell, guys. Uh, summon, summoning, some, whatever the fuck this field spell's called, uh, this card needs to be put to one. Honestly, it could be even banned. This card's absolutely stupid. It's basically just magical meltdown for all your freaking uh, main deck monsters. Every 10 5 monster is unaffected by card effects during the main phase, or at least fire dragons, basically. So they can just red rose uh, your whole field away, or black rose your whole field away, and then just continue to combo off and OTK you. Not to mention this card searches on activation. This card's ridiculous. I think this card could definitely go to one. It is literally the choke point of the whole deck. I'm I'm not a fan of this card's card design, so I definitely think this card can go to one, and that would be a good tempi hit. Uh, other cards that could be going to one, let's talk about them. All right, so let's talk about Floodgates. Skill Drain is going to one. I hate this card with a passion of Christ. This card, like all the other continuous trap cards that are just complete Floodgates to the game, Rivalry, Summon Limit, Goes in Match, all these BS cards. Yeah, put this thing to one. Skill Drain is absolutely stupid in Snake Eyes. This card just turns off the game. The fact that you can just send it away is absolutely stupid. I'm not really happy about this card. Personally, I think it should be banned, but they're not going to ban it, so I think they're just going to put it to one, which makes sense. The card's been at one for so long, it wasn't an issue. Now it's at three, and it's an issue because Snake Eyes can do their whole freaking combo. Flip it up, stop your opponent from playing, and then on the next turn, send it away for a Dia Bellstar effect and just pop off and kill you, which is not really cool. So, yeah, skill game gotta go. Another really bullshit card that could be banned or limited to one is uh, Lovely Lovely Dimensional Barrier. Now, if they're not gonna ban this card, this card definitely needs to go to one so you can't trap trick it out. Uh, the fact that Labyrinth can set this card is absolutely stupid. I know Labyrinth isn't really doing anything right now, but it, it's still, I never liked this card. This card's always been bullshit. Now, it doesn't hit a lot in the format currently because it doesn't call links. It can only hit fusions, synchros, XYZs, pendulums, and rituals. But uh, still, I hate to get this turn off a mechanic in the game. Like, for example, I think Silent Force is a really cool archetype. That's a ritual deck that's trying to stay in the format. It's trying to stay relevant. And guess what? It can't play because my opponent sent Trap Trick into, guess what? A D Barrier Call Ritual. Now what the fuck am I supposed to do? Nothing. You'll lose. Not fun in this mechanic. This card should be banned, honestly. But knowing uh, Konami, they're probably going to put this card to one. Eventually. Uh, who knows? Maybe not even on this list, but who knows? Uh, another card that needs to go to one. Give it Puppet of Strings. This is the rank 8, I believe. That is part of the old Given Puppet lore. Uh, this card has become an absolute menace over the last few months. Ever since uh, this set came out and the new Given Puppet support came. And they've been FTKing left and right. Now, don't get me wrong. They can still perform the FTK with just one Puppet of Strings. However... If you interrupt the puppet of strings, you are less likely to get FTK now. It's like it's like hitting Ash. Like if you stop Ash now, if Ash is at one, it's less likely they can play through that. Same thing here. They can still maybe FTK you, but it's a lot less likely. Your chances went from 90% they're gonna FTK you to now 40 to 30%, which isn't great still. But, you know, it's better than the alternative. So I definitely think if they're not going to hit any of the new Game of Puppet cards, I think Game of Puppet a String got to go to one. This card is absolutely stupid. It's what gets all the counters on the field so that you can then burn your opponent by destroying monsters with counters. It's not a great card. This card got to go. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that should be brought back. Uh, some people are saying Masterpiece can come back. Uh, I'm kind of for and against that. The reason why is because Masterpiece is a really annoying boss monster. Uh, 
that's basically a tower slash dryden all in one but it's only good with a floodgate backing it up and we have limited all the good floodgates uh skill drain is going to go to one rivalry is already at one uh what's it called uh dozen match is already at one some of limits at one you see what i'm getting at all the best floodgates are already going to one now if you're still thinking oh we can't bring that masterpiece masterpiece can never come back well then okay fine i definitely think true uh dragon diagram can come back to three in my opinion i think true draco hasn't done shit in the last like four to five years i definitely think diagram can come back to three and now if you're thinking oh no dinosaurs can abuse drake diamond diamond game to search a true king oh no they're gonna search lithum sagum i say whatever who gives a shit lithum sagum's legal and i think lithum sagum's at three as we speak and it's not doing shit let them have it who cares like dinosaurs aren't doing shit right now let them have this don't bring back Miss. Miss is on one. Leave that bitch there. Uh, personally, I think ban Mi Mi Miss is this very unfun. Personally, it should have always been banned. But who cares? Even at one, it's not doing anything for dinosaurs. Fucking give us back diagram. At least put it at two. If you're like so scared, it's gonna be like broken at freaking three. Put it at two. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other cards that can come back to one. Uh, Glow Bloom. I love this as a tuner. It's one of my favorite tuners. It's not, it's not the favorite tuner in the whole game. I hate that it got banned because of Link bullshit. I think it can come back as a one of. Yes, it's a free Link too if you normal summon it. But no one's normal summoning Glow Bloom. They just ain't doing it. And if they are, fucking let them, dude. I think when I have glow, if, if, if free link two off one monster is that big of a deal. There's so many other monsters that already do that. That who cares? Like I, I really just I think glow bulk can come back and that's fine. Uh, is there any other limits? I already talked about bonfire. I already talked about wanted. I already talked about ash. I already talked about the temp pie field spell. Game of puppet of strings. I'm really just trying to make sure that I hit everything on the note. Because I don't want to be like, oh man, Nicholas, or uh, what's it called, Gaynor Gaming, you uh, left something on the list. You should have brought back such and such. And I'm, I don't want that. So this is my big concert heads of wish list, uh, wish list. And of course, Konami listens to me. So they're going to see this list and be like, holy shit, let's do everything I say. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that can come back to one or be put to one? not really sure okay i thought about two cards that can come back to one uh first things well actually three cards i actually think of three cards first things first plush fire and summon sorcerers both are getting erratas in the ocg and i think both can come back as a one of now until we get that errata in the tcg i think they should stay banned but if they are coming back which they probably will that it's when the errata happens they're going to be coming back as one. So I think uh, Summon Storm is going to come back as a one of. I definitely think Plush Fire is going to come back as a one of. Uh, next card, I definitely think Electromite can come back as one. Now, people are saying, oh, Pendulum too strong. Pendulum best deck. Yeah, Pendulum hasn't been the best deck since 2018, guys. Like, literally, it hasn't been good for a while. Now, it can be scary that Electromite and Astrograph will be legal again together with beyond the pendulum but i think that's fine guys i think that deck loses too much to too many instant floodgates that i think it's we're all good and hooded um i think anti spell is already at one i was gonna say if anti spell is still at three put that bitch to one but i think anti spell on the last list is put to one so i think we're good there and that is it for the limited list uh i have you let me know in the comments if i forgot anything i should put back to one or go from there let's uh, let's talk about semi limits so Panker tops is at two let's put that bitch to three uh that's all i got for the semi limit list i don't think anything should be put to two uh i think the only thing uh, maybe some like cards on the semi limit list should go to three but that's really about it and the only card i can think of is Panker tops uh if we can have freaking ben rear at three i think we're gonna have Panker tops at three you can't play both in the same deck and if you do, if you have both in hand, they kind of conflict with each other, so eh, it's fine. I think Fenrir can go back to, uh, Fenrir's already at three. I think Pankertoff can go to three as well. Uh, is there anything else that I am forgetting that can come to three?
I don't, oh, the dragon rulers, yeah, fuck it, uh, bring back all the dragon rulers, the three, or put them to two, I think they're all at one right now, like Tidal, uh, Redox, all of them, uh, Burner, uh, yeah, put them at three, who gives a shit, and Master Duel, they're at three, and no one's playing them, uh, I don't know what deck will even abuse them, I guess Dragonling, per se, but who cares, they already lost Baron, they already lost Boros Savage, they need some love, man, and you know what? Fuck it, give it to them. Give them the old Dragon Rollers. If they end up being too good, put them back to one. Who cares? And, uh, yeah, that's really all I got for this list. I hope you all enjoy. Don't think stupid. See you all next one, and bye bye <laughs>